I think being like a creative person, it becomes really difficult to go along with the way things are supposed to be. In your mind, always have a way that you would like to work. I think you start to realize that I could be creating something that creates my own money, which allows me to make my own decisions. I'm originally from California and I moved to London 15 years ago to study at the London College of Fashion for a study abroad program. I ended up getting into a short course with like millinery, tailoring and bag making. I really got into bag making because it was really hands-on and quite like technical but fun so you could like play around and like make shapes quite quickly without going into great detail for it to turn into something. And so I ended up staying and applying for a foundation at LCF and I ended up getting into an accessories course. It was purely academic by the point that I got into the bag making course. We were taught like really basic skills of leather making and bag construction, but it really was down to us. And then I interned for a bag maker in Bow, and she was more like a designer and went to like the RCA. So she wasn't really concerned about the actual making portion. And her studio was above the leather workshop and working with them was like amazing. I would show up to do my internship with her and I would take down the samples to the guys in the workshop and they would spend like an hour with me every day going through some like techniques. For the last seven years, I have been kind of teaching myself because you kind of work with the tools that you're given. I'm American, so you just, you have to find your thing. People are always trying to get you to find your thing as a child. My parents both worked all the time, so me and my brother were always busy. I was always at some kind of cheesy arts camp or something. So from a young age, I was like used to playing around with something, visualizing like an idea, and then it kind of coming to life. So I think when I started doing fashion in college, that wasn't the same feeling. I loved making clothes, it was really nice, but it was kind of long and quite tedious. The leather making brought me back to like when I was a kid. Somehow my parents realized, why not let her be an artist? They didn't think I'd do it as a job though, <laughs> so. There are a lot of people who do leather bags. There's not that many people who do them one by one like I do. People like them because they're kind of fun, but they're still quite traditional and they fit in a certain box. I don't think off the bat, when people see the bags, they're like, immediately I have to have this one bag. I think people do a lot of research into this kind of stuff because it's not very cheap. What like makes me stand out between someone else is that I care. My name is Janetta Taylor. I'm a leather bag maker. <laughs>